I think most of us agree that uh, ketones, exogenous ketones aren't going to make you lose weight faster if you're continuing to eat carbs. Um, <clears throat> but there's a deeper, more interesting question for many of us, and that is, so if you take exogenous ketones and your body's using that for full fuel on a regular basis, does that help your body uh, for, uh, switch into fat burning mode? Does it train your mitochondria, as many would say, to burn fats? Well, let's take a look. This, uh, this article gets closer to that question than any that I've seen yet. It's uh, exogenous ketones and the impact on time to ketosis and the impact on keto flu. It was in a, a, a journal I haven't seen before, but as I look through the article, it's clearly a pretty good, uh, good techniques. Uh, Peer Journal, published online in uh, March uh, 16th and 2018. The title is The Use of Nutritional Substance uh, Supplements to Induce Ketosis and Reduce Symptoms Associated with Keto uh, Induction, or in other words, the Keto Flu. And it's a narrative review. What does that mean in their terms? Well, we'll get to that in a second. It's, it's basically um, a literature review, you know, a Cochrane style. I, I, now they don't mention having used full-blown Cochrane uh, meta-analysis techniques, but it's that kind of study. Uh, here's the background. Adaptation to ketogenic diet or keto induc induction can cause unpleasant symptoms, the keto flu. And this can reduce the tolerability of the diet. Several methods have been used uh, or suggested as useful for encouraging entry. Uh, one of them is um, exogenous ketones. Do they get you there faster and without the pain of the keto flu? That's really the question. So in terms of methods, they look through PubMed, Science Direct, uh, Medline, CI, uh, Health, Alternative Health Watch, EBSCO, uh, the, a lot of the usual suspects. And they used keywords like ketogenic diet, ketogenic, ketosis, ketonemia, keto meaning ketones, and nemia meaning in the blood. Uh, additionally, they took specific, as they started to find authors that were active in this area, they took those and did more specific uh, drill downs looking for those names. Now, what were the results? Well, that's interesting. And it's, for many of us, a little bit disappointing. But let me, let's go through the gory details. Evidence from one mouse study suggests that leucine doesn't significantly increase beta-hydroxybutyrate, you know, B, uh, BOHB or beta. It's, that's the most common thing that we see. It's the, I think, uh, butyl is four carbons, a four carbon uh, um, ketone chain. So, uh, leucine doesn't help. Why would you ask that question? Well, uh, we'll get to that. Uh, leuc addition of, to, of leucine to a ketogenic diet, however, does increase. Leucine's an amino acid or protein. So, you don't have to have such high um, fat to protein ratios. That's what that's talking about. Addition of leucine to a... a, a a ketogenic or fat type diet increases the protein to fat ratio, but doesn't reduce uh, ketosis. Well, that's sort of a side issue. Let, the next couple of issues are, are more important. And animal studies indicate that the short chain fatty acids, acetic acid, which has got two carbons, and butyric acid, which has got four, increase ketone body concentrations. However, only one study has been performed in humans. And this demonstrated that butyric acid, the four carbon uh, ketone, is more ketogenic than either leucine or an eight chain uh, monoglyceride. Eight chain, eight carbons, um, but it's more of a glyceride. It's not, uh, it's a slightly, slightly modified, it's the precursor of the, um, of the ketone. MCTs, medium chain triglycerides, in other words, coconut oil, increase beta hydroxybutyrate in a linear dose dependent manner and promote both ketonemia and ketogenesis. So, is this saying, look, forget all of the $30 a bottle exogenous ketones uh, that you get from these people that make and sell it 
and just go back to cheap old Kroger coconut oil? Let's see. Exogenous ketones promote ketonemia, so maybe they're worthwhile, but they may inhibit ketogenesis. Oh, well, actually, the good old coconut oil may even be better, according to this. So in, under conclusions, there's a clear ketogenic effect for supplemental MCTs, coconut oil. However, it is unclear whether they independently improve time to ketosis or reduce the keto flu. There's limited research on the potential for other supplements to improve time to ketosis and to reduce keto flu. Few studies have specifically evaluated symptoms and adverse effects of the keto diet during that induction phase. I'm sorry, but I have to say, I, I told you so. No, uh, and pardon me for being a debunker, debunker. Um, but you know, all these folks that are so emotional and excited about giving um, exogenous ketones and it help, helping you get over the keto flu and training your body and training your mitochondria and speaking of this as a proven fact, I, I'm just not seeing it yet. I did try, I'm, I am intrigued by it and I did uh, buy some of those for the first time and I'm trying them. Um, so let's go on in, in the rest of the article. Those that have typically, uh, those that have, in other words, the few studies that have looked at this typically were not designed to evaluate variables of primary, as prim, primary outcomes. Thus, more research is required uh, to elucidate the role that supplementation might play in, in encouraging ketosis or reducing keto flu. So again, um, I wish that we knew, and I hate to say we don't know because that frustrates everybody. And, it's not a message that you want to hear. You like to, humans like to hear, yeah, it's going to happen, or no, it's not. But unfortunately, it's, uh, we're not there yet. I'm still clearly taking MCT oil, and this research would clearly indicate that that's appropriate if you want to get, uh, uh, if you're going for ketosis. I don't know that I'm going to be purchasing any more um, um, uh, beta hydroxybutyrate salts or the uh, exogenous ketones. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for your interest. Have a two day event in uh, Louisville, November 8th and 9th. Get your CIMT and all of your labs.